Hello antique fans and welcome to my channel for another antique related video. This is Deanna speaking from Vintage Touch Antiques. Today I have quite an assortment of things that I have laid out here ready to deliver this week to my Vintage Touch Antique booth located in Antique Crossroads, Hagerstown, Maryland. This group will be delivered on Wednesday of the 7th, no, the 18th, 2016. And since I have so many things here, I'd like to go through them quickly with you so that you can see what is being delivered. I'm going to start on the left side here, going into my garden and outdoor center. I have this early spade or shovel that I sell in the, uh, the old tools section. That one's going in for six dollars. I have an iron underneath of it here, an iron hay fork. That's about a, oh, a seven inch wide piece, I think. Uh, going in for ten dollars. Those make great wall hangings. Here's a cute little penny toy. This is uh, probably Germany. Doesn't have the German mark on it, but it does have the um, marking CKO, and it's a little tin engine going in for fifteen dollars. I have a number of these spool type of textile. Spindle type, I mean textile spools, going in for five dollars a piece. In the back, this is a sorry for the reflection there, but this is a coffee pot, it's a five pint size, and it has a copper, it's copper underneath with a plating, some kind of metal plating on top. Nice old handle here, as you can see, turned. Uh, this piece is going in for $15. In the back here is a wonderful old bottle. This is an advertising piece with the full wraparound label, as you can see. It does have some wear to it, but that's expected with these, with something this old that's um, got the paper label. It does have a cork receiving top. It's an amber glass bottle. And it's for white sage and sulfur compound. And as I'm reading here on the bottle, this was used to uh, color faded or gray hair. So that is a very unusual piece. Uh, that piece is going in the shop for $32. And beside that is a clear bottle with a brass cap here. And it's an Iwan Bay Rum bottle. That one is going in for $15. This is a little jug, stoneware jug, uh, just about a three or four inch tall one. Uh, it says mercury on the front, it was used to store mercury, and that piece is going in for $15. This is another advertising piece, great talcum, Raleigh's talcum baby powder, with a cute baby on the front. It has the um, dispense, you know, the uh, slide dispense top or the twist, I guess, top. And it's going in for $12. Both sides are the same. In the back here is a great little small mantle clock. Let me see if I can get this to focus a little better. And it does have a name on it. Haven Clock Company, USA. I do not have the key for the back side here, so I don't know if it runs. So I'm putting it in for just $7. <clears throat> Another bottle that's an advertising bottle, and this is Hire's Root Beer, so it was probably root beer extract. <clears throat> Excuse me. Aqua bottle, going in for $6, great embossing on it. In the front here, these are getting hard to find. This is an old five and a half inch primitive clothespin. You can see the wire wrap there, or the metal wrap, I mean, not wire. Great old primitive piece, going in for $12. Here's a pair of these uh, little stork thread clippers in the shape of a stork. They do have a mark on them, Griffin. 
Germany and those are going in for $13. I've got a couple of old fishing lures here. I'm hoping they're going to show up for you really good. This one is a sunfish uh, lure and it is uh, Hedden Pumpkin Seed is what the name is that's on it and it's $15. And here's a great little one that has the frog. These are wood pieces. The little legs will flap out on that, that one. That's also $15. And here's an old antique coin purse. This is a tiny piece, as you can see with my hand here. It's got the brown back and black front with wear, but it is an antique, and it's going in for $6. And this is an old curling iron. This is a more unusual one. It has that spring uh, tension there on the back, and it does have an embossing there, right there on this section with the name that goes around this way that says Diamond. That piece is going in for $9. Then I've got some going into the apothecary area. This little iron stone pedestal mortar with the I mean mortar with the pestle and that one is going in for $15 and here's a wooden one in the back. Nice beautiful wood. 5 inches, $15. Here's just a little vintage stoneware crock for $7. And then with the other sewing collectibles, I've got a couple of bone sewing bodkins. This one is a needle bodkin and it can be uh, the needle can be replaced in it. This one is just a plain one. Those are going in. This one is 7 and this one is 10 and a shell thimble case. You see the pretty pink swirls there in the shell and it does have a thimble if I can get it open. If I can't you'll just have to... <laughs> it's hard to get me open with one hand but it does have a thimble in it and it is going in for $15. Beautiful postcard here that's got the gold gilding on it. It's a birthday wishes and it is a German postcard and that's going in for $3. That one it would be great to be framed. I have a nice little great patina on this little box. It's a sectioned box. It's got a little section inside. I don't know what it was for. Maybe to hold some kind of weights maybe. has the great little original latch on the front. This one is going in for $12. I have another little drawer and this one you can see the the uh, way that it's put together there that is called a moon and pen joint that little box of drawers going in for ten dollars it's got the little lock there that it used to have on the front there I don't have a key that works that but it has the little lock and then I'm putting in a these are just old pearls, two strand pearls with the rhinestone clasp, and those will be $6. And then I've got several little old books here. I love little books. And this one is a little pocket Bible, dated 1900, going in for $4. And then these are really terrific little books. This one even has a little calico trim on the spine there used to preserve it, and it is dated 1832. It is the Rise in Progress of Religion in the Soul. That's the title. And I'm putting it in for $15. Look how cute and chunky that is. The next one is a little hymn book. Young People's Hymn Book. And it is dated 1899. Great little piece. Going in for $9. And then this sweet little piece. This is a little marbled flat book. Just two by four and a half inches and this one is called the story I mean the, it's called Betty Bad and it's the story of the little girl with many bad habits and it is got a written um, date inside of it of 1919 and I'm putting that one in for ten dollars so that is the group of things that will be going in to my booth this week like I said the 18th 
And so I, pr I hope that you'll be able to stop by real soon and check that out in my shop. All things can be purchased online. If you're interested, just drop me a message and it can be transferred to my online store. Please check the description of the video for where you can find me on the web and for the link to my online store. And I thank you for watching and remind you to have a great day. Enjoy your antiques and remember, when you own an antique, you own a piece of history. Bye-bye.